When it comes to deck boxes for Magic the Gathering and other trading card games, there's a vast array of choices. So much so that my first two deck box videos have still only scratched the surface of what's out there. This video will primarily compare and contrast deck vaults, such as the Ultra Pro Deluxe Pro Tower, as well as Ultra Pro's Metal Nesting Deck Vault series, the Elder Dragon Deck Vault offered by Legion, and finally, we'll take a look at the handcrafted wooden deck boxes of Aaron Kane. With such a wide variety, some are better than others, while a few should be avoided entirely. Let's take a look. Legion offers a premium deck vault specifically made with Commander in mind. The Elder Dragon Vault, designed for Commander, has the capacity for two Commander decks and a reasonable supply of tokens. The deck box has a thick, tough, scaled exterior available in a wide variety of colors. The Elder Dragon Vaults come with a spin-down inside, and the interior is lined with a felt-like fabric. The deck vault feels sturdy. It has some serious heft to it, and I wouldn't worry about breakage issues. The capacity is for two 100-card commander decks, but only if they are single-sleeved. The biggest problem overall is the fabric lining. It's too coarse, and the compartments are too narrow. The cards catch incredibly easily when being put in and out. I also got very nervous about what all this friction was doing to my cards. Getting your decks out is not a smooth task. You have no room to work your fingers around your decks, so it's a real struggle. The top loading compartment is no easier. Maybe the side compartment is best left for counters and dice, although that would mean this gigantic deck vault only holds one deck overall. A spin-down with the Legion logo is included, which I suppose is nice. Finally, there's the issue of price. The Legion Elder Dragon Vault is expensive, at an average cost of $25 to $30. So while the pros are, two commander deck capability and a tough exterior, the cons add up, most of all in terms of the interior fabric, which makes getting your decks very difficult, the large overall size of the box, and the high price tag. I'm going to have to give this a C minus. Barely passing. This isn't what I'd turn to if I were looking for a premium deck box. I'll show you what I would in just a moment, but first, Ultra Pro has redesigned their metal deck vaults into the new nesting style. This redesign was a smart move on their part, and I'll show you why. The old style, shown here, could hold a 75 card sleeve deck. The lid flipped on and off, and the interior had a rolled-in edge, which was actually a major problem. This interior edge was just wide enough to catch your cards as you tried to get them out. A caught card could become wedged tightly under the lip of this edge, and would be very difficult to get out. You risked damaging your card, or at least the sleeve around it. This was a real problem. In addition to all of this, the simple flip lid was flimsy, and would snap off easily. But Ultra Pro responded to these problems and redesigned their metal deck vaults into this, the nesting deck vault. The nesting deck vault has a smooth, rolled-out edge that prevents card jamming. There's no lip or edge whatsoever for your cards to catch on. Getting your cards in and out of the new style is a breeze. Smooth and simple. There's nothing to break, nothing to snap off. It's a fabulous design. The only qualm one might have is that it still can only hold a single-sleeved 75-card deck. Double-sleeving is one thing, but I wish they had made these just a little bigger so that a commander deck would fit. The lid actually hides a secret compartment that can hold your dice and some counters. While not that roomy, this is a handy little extra. The only problem with the dice compartment is that it is so small that standard-sized spin-downs, the kind you get at pre-release and in event decks, etc., are almost too big for the lid to close over. If they are lying just right, the lid will catch. It's not a major problem, and you can always use a smaller D20 instead. But again, I wish they had made these just a tiny bit bigger for commander decks and for standard-sized spin-downs. But these problems are minor, and with an average price of only $6.50, you're getting a nifty deck box. Oh, 
And in a move I applaud Ultra Pro for, they have artwork other than the typical five planeswalkers that are plastered over 95% of everything else they make. Cabal Therapy? Nice. Grade? Solid B. While we're looking at Ultra Pro, let's see what they offer in terms of deluxe card storage. The much-talked-about Ultra Pro Pro Tower. The Pro Tower is large, but not as big as the Legion Elder Dragon Vault. It is made of cardboard, but unlike their gaming case, this is a rich, tough, textured board, woven with thick fibers. It's still cardboard of a sorts, but at least it's solid. Let's take a look inside. There's two large compartments, as well as a side compartment for oversized cards. Finally, we have a top compartment that can hold a double-sleeved commander deck. The compartments come out, and accessing your deck is aided by a pull string. While I'm not going to rave about cardboard and string, this is nice, and there's at least some level of quality here. The bottom compartment, I assumed, was for your second deck. It certainly holds one, but... Ah! It won't close with a deck inside. The bottom compartment appears to be intended for dice encounters only, or perhaps a 75-card single-sleeve deck face down. This is so puzzling to me, because literally another half centimeter would have allowed it to hold a second commander deck. If you put your deck in face down, you can kind of kajigger it, but at this point your commander deck needs to be single-sleeved, and even then it's not ideal. 75 cards would work, but very disappointing that they designed it this way. Ah well. What seems to appeal to most players is the side compartment made specifically for your oversized commander cards. The side compartment will thankfully hold them sleeved, as well as some of the other irregularly sized promos from the past. It's got a neat little clasp, combining magnets and an actual snapping clasp. Your cards are perfectly safe and secure in the Pro Tower. I really like this clasp. The magnet snaps it closed really secure. Average price is about $20, although I have seen a lot of stores asking a lot more, which becomes problematic. Pros. Holds a double-sleeved deck and has a bottom compartment for dice and counters. Holds oversized cards. Great clasp. Cons. Although sturdy, still just made of cardboard. Can't easily hold a second deck in the second compartment. Large size. Overall, I'm going to have to give this a borderline B minus C plus. If it held a second deck or cost less, then that grade might have been higher. But when I compare this to the $10 Ultra Pro Satin Tower, an A in my book, I just don't see why I'd want the Pro Tower instead. This still isn't what I'd look at for premium deck boxes, but here's what is. Handcrafted wooden deck boxes by Aaron Kane. These are not manufactured on an assembly line, but handcrafted and made to order. The variety available is immense, as Kane has a large selection of styles to choose from. Today, I will be looking at the standard top loader and a deck vault. These are made to order, and you can choose everything from the type of wood and finish to the size. The top loader shown here was made for a standard 75 card deck, but sizes can be made to accommodate all the way up to a double sleeved commander deck. Remember that these prices will vary depending upon your needs. It's tough, too. I applied quite a lot of pressure, as usual, to see if I could break it. I couldn't. It's built solid, and it's built to last. This 75-card top loader would cost about $22. Remember that when ordering an Aaron Kane deck box, you are dealing with something made custom for you and by hand. As such, price is going to be higher than what you pay for factory-made plastic. But I won't consider that a con, because it is appropriate to the quality and craftsmanship you are receiving. This is the Commander Deck Vault. Depending on your needs, these can be made for as low as $30 or as high as $60. Mine was made to hold a double-sleeved Commander Deck. Naturally. Talk about some serious bling-bling for a Commander player. Cards slide in and out easily. No fumbling here. Your Commander is shown through the window in front. The compartment lid opens and shuts smoothly. It stays shut securely when closed. These can be made for 75 card decks, single or double sleeved. Again, I couldn't break this if I tried. The bottom holds a surprisingly large amount of dice and counters. 
This is comparable to my beloved Satin Tower. They're a little more expensive, of course, especially the larger and more complex you go, but you get what you pay for. In fact, this beautiful wooden box has turned my previous premium Satin Tower into a budget deck box. As the deck box by Aaron Kane now defines the premium deck box category. Grade, A+. Quality, craftsmanship, beauty. If you're looking for a gift for a Magic player, if you want something to show off to your friends and to your playgroup, this is the way to go. Since these are likely not available at your local game store, I've included ordering information in the description below. As always, selecting trading card accessories is going to be a matter of personal need and taste. What works for some might not work for others. I hope this video has been of some help to you. Remember, more videos are on the way, so be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos as well.